Welcome to the Division of Health Sciences Advising Center's online presentation for New Student Orientation. This segment encompasses information exclusively for pre-nursing majors. Here is an example of your degree worksheet. This is something we will individualize for you every time you come into the Division of Health Sciences Advising Center for an appointment. These can also be found online on the UNLV School of Nursing's website. You may be asking what the pre and pre-nursing means. It simply means that you are fulfilling the prerequisites in order to apply to the full program. It is not an individual degree unto itself. All students must complete the nursing requirements, which you can see here. They include general biology, chemistry 108, which is a combination of organic and inorganic chemistry, anatomy and physiology 1 and 2, microbiology, statistics and nursing 299, which is a combination of nutrition and developmental psychology over the lifespan. Acceptance into the full program is competitive and has a two attempt rule on specific courses where a grade of a B or higher is required. A grade of B minus or lower is not acceptable for these courses. College algebra, anatomy and physiology one and two, microbiology and nursing 299. It is important to note that a withdrawal or audit of a course counts as an attempt. If you have two penalty attempts, which include a withdrawal, audit, or grade of B minus or lower, you will be ineligible to apply to the full program. For all remaining general education courses, a grade of a C or a higher is required. Grades of a C minus or lower are not acceptable. Different nursing programs have different entrance exams. UNLV uses the HESI. On this particular exam, you have two attempts to receive a 75% or higher in all four subject areas which include math, anatomy and physiology, reading comprehension, and grammar. No physics or chemistry for UNLV's exam. You will see on the bottom of the screen the most common study guides people use to study, which includes an application you can download on your phone. The application requirements for the School of Nursing are as follows. All prerequisites must be completed or in progress. You'll need a minimum of a 3.0 GPA in order to apply. A GPA of 2.99 is not acceptable. A passing score of 75% within two attempts on the HESI entrance exam. A minimum score of 88 points on the calculation worksheet. We will discuss this very shortly. You have up to four attempts to apply to the full BSN program, if you wish. Here's a copy of the calculation worksheet. This is what the School of Nursing uses to determine whether a student is accepted into the full program. There is no extra credit for military or EMT experience. The calculation worksheet is broken down into four main sections. The first section reflects the number of attempts on anatomy and physiology one and two, microbiology, nursing 299, and your math component. If you receive a grade of a B or higher on your first attempt, you will get three points. If you withdraw, audit, or get a B minus or lower, you will need to retake the course. And then if you get a grade of a B or higher on your second attempt, you will score two points. If you do not receive a grade of B or higher on these particular courses within two attempts, you will be ineligible to apply to the full program. The next section is a GPA calculator using all of the previous courses plus Chem 108. The third section provides a formula for you to calculate your points from your HESI exam. 
for students who got a who take 50 out of the 62 prerequisite credits at UNLV, you will earn Rebel Recognition, which is an extra half point on your calculation worksheet. Total possible score is 101.21, while the minimum number of points needed to apply is 88. While you can apply with one of the calculation worksheet courses in progress, you will not receive points if it is in progress. The course needs to be completed in order to receive points on the calculation worksheet. As part of your process for application, you will need to schedule a BSN signing session. At your signing session, we will confirm your prerequisite grades. We will have you sign some paperwork, confirm your HESI exam scores, and there will be a small written application. Once all the application materials are confirmed and deemed accurate, we will turn in your application for you after your session. The top 72 students are accepted every fall, spring, and summer. There really is no way to predict the cutoff scores, so we just have to encourage all students to do the best they can with their coursework and the HESI exam. You will want to apply the semester before you plan on starting the full program. So for example, if you wish to start the full program in the spring, you'll need to apply in October to meet the November 1st deadline. Students are usually notified within the first two weeks after the deadline. So in the previous example, you would be notified by November 15th. If you are one of the 72 students selected to complete the full BSN program, you will complete the second half of your schooling, which is an accelerated 16-month program equaling 60 credits. Each semester is considered a level for a total of four levels. Each level follows a sequence of 15 weeks on and two weeks off. You should know that tuition for the full program is considerably more than the normal tuition at UNLV. It is almost two times the normal tuition. The estimated cost for the full program is as follows for each level. After completion of the BSN program, students will take the NCLEX licensure exam to become a registered nurse or RN. UNLV has one of the highest pass rates of the NCLEX exam in the nation. To be considered for financial aid, all pre-nursing students must declare a second major. Whether or not you take any course related to your second major is not important. It is meant to serve as a backup for your financial aid. Ultimately, you can change your major to whatever you like, but for the initial purposes of adding a second major, we ask that you choose from these six majors as the course progression from pre-nursing to one of these majors is very similar. We require all pre-nursing students to sign a letter of understanding. This serves as a written declaration of many of the pre-nursing principles which we're discussing now. Let's discuss your fall 2021 class schedule and how it was constructed. Even though many of you are freshmen coming directly from high school, some of you have already earned college credits. Two of the main ways are described here. Non-traditional credits include credits earned through AP, IB, CLEP, or military credits. Other students have earned credits through the high school dual enrollment program, which is most earning uh, of these types are credits are through CSN or Nevada State College High School. If you have earned any of these type of credits and want to use these credits towards your progression at UNLV, make sure to submit your scores or transfer scores as soon as possible to the UNLV admissions office. We don't want you to take a class to which you've already earned the credit. The academic calendar is divided into three semesters. Uh, there's a fall semester, which runs late August to mid-December, spring semester, which runs mid-January through mid-May, and the summer semester, which runs overall from mid-May through mid-August. 
There are different lengths of instruction. Most courses you will take will be the regular allotment of 16 weeks in the fall and spring semesters. Some courses will be considered modular courses, which run on average for eight weeks. Mid-semester courses are usually online and are approximately five weeks long, while the summer semester encompasses three separate terms, which vary from three to five weeks in length. If you are considering a summer course, know that these are very condensed and require a good amount of time to commit to the course to do well. When choosing your courses for future semesters, here's some information that will help you in enrolling. For the most part, subject abbreviations are pretty recognizable. Math is math, English is um, ENG, and so forth. Lower division courses are given a value from 100 to 299, and upper division courses are given a value of 300 to 499. And this is good to know if you have to enroll in an upper division elective or requirement. Every course will have a credit assignment. And this simply means the number of approximate hours per week you will spend in class. This does not include study time or outside assignments. All majors within the Division of Health Sciences will have a prerequisite consideration for course progression. For example, a student will have to take Anatomy and Physiology 1 or Kin 223 with a minimum grade of C or higher before they can take Anatomy and Physiology 2 or Kin 224. Some students will have to take courses together that are considered co-requisites. A common example is the kinesiology internship, which requires you to sign up for both KIN 490 and KIN 475 at the same time. At some point for all of our majors, there will be courses that have two separate parts to the course's overall grade. Almost all of the science requirements, such as general biology, anatomy and physiology, chemistry and physics will have separate lectures and separate labs. This is designed to maximize your application of the material learned in the lectures. The combination of both these grades will equal your overall grade. Many math courses at the higher level will have a lecture and discussion component. There are different types of mode of instruction most in-person courses fall under three different categories, and this is twice per week, which is most common, once per week, which has a single longer class time, or three to four times per week. All Division of Health Sciences majors will either complete an online course or a hybrid course, which means half in person and half online, during their course progression. All Division of Health Sciences majors will either complete an online course or a hybrid course, half in person, half online, during their course progression. In order to access the online courses, you will need to activate your Web Campus account. In addition to accessing your online courses, most professors will have copies of the syllabus and you will have to submit assignments, uh, most important information regarding their online or in-person courses through will be found through the Web Campus portal. Please take note of the link featured here. Your most important email address during your time at UNLV will be your Rebel Mail. Please take note of the link to set up your personal account. All official correspondence will be relayed through your Rebel Mail. Many professors and departments will only respond to emails from this account. If you wish, you may set up to have your Rebel Mail forwarded to another personal email account. UNLV's student portal is MyUNLV, and it is one of the most important aids that you will use during your progression through to graduation. Currently, your Fall 2020 schedule can be found online via your MyUNLV account. There are a few ways that you can get there. You can use the web link address found here, or you may simply do a Google search for about MyUNLV and click on the main web page link. Once you come to the about MyUNLV web page, scroll down slightly and you'll find an option for student support. Feel free to use this service if you would like to learn more about tutorials that may benefit you in using this portal. 
And in the lower right hand side, you'll find a link to the login page for your MyUnovi account. It may be good to bookmark this link in your browser as you will use this account throughout your time at UNLV. The login page needs a user ID and password, which is simply your Enchi ID number and password from before. This is another way that you could find out information about a class and its availability by clicking on the search for a class link. It is also recommended that if this is your first time using the MyUNLV login, which is pretty much everyone listening to this message, that you clear your browser cache for ideal system performance. Sometimes students experience this error screen after their first login attempt. If you experience this, simply click on the sign into PeopleSoft link and re-enter your Enchi ID number and password from before and it should work. Once you log in, you will see the screen. Feel free to explore the different services that are available here. And as far as seeing your schedule, click on the enrollment section. Here you will find a number of services including viewing your current class schedule for fall 2020, searching and enrolling in courses for future semesters, if applicable, dropping or auditing courses, and swapping courses. We're going to talk about this particular function a little bit more. We understand that your current fall 2020 schedule may not be the most ideal for your preferences or circumstances. Sometimes people may work on Tuesdays and Thursdays and want to try to get their courses on Mondays and Wednesdays only. Or people may prefer morning schedules over afternoon schedules. You now have the control to change your schedule. Before doing so, please consider the swap function. The swap function will protect you in case your desired class is not available at the time you are attempting to change your schedule. So for example, let's say you're trying to change your Psychology 101 class from morning to an afternoon section or a morning psychology 101 class to an afternoon sociology 101 class. You proceed to drop the morning class and try and add the afternoon section. You find out too late that the afternoon section is full and try and re-enroll in the morning section. Unfortunately, the morning section is filled up from the time that you dropped it to the time that you're trying to re-enroll. And this can happen, especially towards the beginning of semesters when courses are near maximum enrollment. The swap function will attempt to do the switch instantaneously. If it cannot make the switch, it will not drop you from your original course. For this reason, we highly recommend the swap function when adjusting your schedule. Especially for English or math, always use the swap function. These courses are very important to your course progression for health science majors, and we want to make sure that you are secure to spot for these two subjects. If you're still waiting for AP or placement scores, we recommend to stay enrolled in the course until the scores populate in MyUNLV. Once they do, you may use the swap function to swap the course appropriately. A few reminders for the fall. Please review the term calendar from the UNLV website for important dates and deadlines. Utilize the UNLV website. It has a great search engine, so if there's an area of question, it's a good place to start. There are a number of bookstores around UNLV, but we highly recommend the official UNLV bookstore for your textbooks. It has a good return policy and works closely with faculty to ensure accurate representation of needed materials per course section. Turn in your immunization records at your earliest convenience. Failure to do so may inhibit future enrollment. If you drive to UNLV, consider getting a student parking permit. Off-campus parking is not always available and can potentially be dangerous late at night. With a student parking permit, you have the added safety of an escort to your car on UNLV grounds if you wish.
It also is nice during the hot days to have an option of covered parking in the garages. Finally, get your Rebel card. You will need this ID for everything from checking out publications from the library to gym access to making copies. Every year, there is an event called UNLV Creates. It is a good opportunity for incoming students to feel welcome and to meet some of your colleagues in your chosen field. We're waiting for updates for this event and we'll notify you once we receive them. Here is our general information for the Division of Health Sciences Advising Center. Appointments can be made through MyUNLV, calling 702-895-5448, or emailing dhsadvising at unlv.edu. Our normal operations are in WHA1, with hours from 8 a.m. to noon, and 1 to 5 p.m. Normal drop-in hours are Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 8.30 a.m. to 11 a.m., and 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. We welcome you to UNLV and we wish you great success in your future endeavors. If we may be of service, please let us know. See you soon.